Okay, we are now going to um, jump into June the 26th. And it says, if I am for you, who can be against you? Hmm. It is essential for you to grasp that I truly am for you. This is a promise for all of my followers. When things are not going your way and people you trusted turn against you, believe me, they will. It's easy to feel as if I've abandoned you. At such times, it's vital to tell yourself the truth. I'm not only with you always, I'm also for you all the time. This is true on days when you perform well and on days when you don't, when people treat you well and when they don't. If you really understand and fully believe that I am for you, then fear will diminish and you can face adversity more calmly. Knowing that I will never turn against you gives you confidence to persevere in tough times. I approve of you beloved because you are mine it is my opinion of you that prevails and will continue to prevail throughout eternity no person and no thing will be able to separate you from my loving presence scriptures for june the 26th what then shall we say in response to this if god is for us who can be against us Romans chapter 8, 31. The Lord lift up his approving countenance upon you and give you peace, tranquility of heart, and life continually. Numbers chapter 6, verse 26. Neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8, verse 39. So, again, thank you for being a part of this, um, this journey of our daily devotional. Um, I'm learning as well when um, I'm reading these and as I'm saying them to you or speaking them uh, to you, believe me, they're sticking with me and I'm learning along with you. So it's just not me reading. I'm growing too. And um, I'm hoping that you are reading, studying, and growing. So this is encouraging both of us to live a life that is pleasing to God or if we make a mistake, to get up and repent and not waddle and get depressed in it. So, for those again, just continue walking that straight, that straight path. Allow God to guide and lead you. For those who have fallen away, remember to don't stay out there too long, no matter what it is or if it's something that it's hindering you, your spirit, and you need to get it right. Don't let it eat eating you up. You know, go and talk to someone and get it right. And uh, for those who are seeking the Lord, continue seeking Him. But learning so that you can know Him. So, again, God's plan of salvation. Hear the word, Mark 12, 29. You, you hear the word, you believe the word. That is Hebrews 11 and 6. You believe, you repent. That is Luke chapter 13, 3. Then you repent and confess. That is Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 10. Then when you confess, then you are baptized into the body of Christ through the watery grave of baptism, being immersed in the water, y'all. Not dipped and not sprinkled, okay? You got to get wet, soaked wet. Like, just 
that's buried in that water and raised back up just like when Christ died in, in that tomb and he rose up. And then once the, we are baptized for the remission of our sins and, sal and for salvation, then we are to live faithful in the Christ until he comes back. And that is our devotional for June the 26th. So, have a great night. Remember, God loves you unconditionally. There's nothing that you can do that is so bad that he won't accept you. Don't ever think that you're too dirty or too shameful. Or God wouldn't love me no more. Yes, he does. And he's waiting for you. And remember that I love you too. So, until next time, have a good night.